Happy New Year, guys, and welcome to this very exciting episode of Amiel TV One on One. Today, we have or we are kicking off the year with a 360 interview of someone who has become very notorious for his critique of celebrity fashions. <laughs> And today we have the one and only. He's also a media personality. He doesn't just critique, he does some work as well. So yes, and we are very excited to have the one and only Charlie Dior yes. in our studios. Hey guys. Hello, how are you? I am good. I don't how are know you? if I like that introduction, notorious. <laughs> you are notorious, I don't think man. So. I mean not like not like notorious, notorious, but yeah. when I say notorious, you know what I mean? Really? In that regard. Hmm. We I'll, all know you. I will sit on that comment and see if I really like it but thank you so much for having me Yo. and like i see you all the time yeah. on ml tv we it see you all the it time it took you guys forever to invite me but listen I'm anytime still... <laughs> he's so busy no anytime. that's not true don't put that out there then i as soon as you reached out to me you know i right I, like, but, yes, like, but i'm not you the, the past years yes jq has tried to reach out <laughs> for us to do this and it's yes. like at the time when we're reaching out you're yes. almost leaving the country yes, yes, or yes, something that's has true come up, that's true right? but i Listen, this is Amel TV. I love Amel TV. I will always make time for you guys. We love you always, too. And always. thank you for making the time today. Sure, thanks for having now, me. Now, before we start, I'm going to let him critique what I'm wearing today. Oh. Because that's what he does. First of all, I love your earrings. I think your earrings are chic. They are... Thank you. you. Know, they're very... But I don't know if it's, it's matching the rest of the, the outfit. outfit. Wow. So we will buy your earrings and burn the rest of your clothes. How about that? I really like the earrings. And then their shoes. Thank God you can see her feet. You know, she got on some... <laughs> don't zoom into her feet guys but i really love those earrings where did you get them i sell them actually oh you do yes so you made them yourself no you... i don't someone makes them and then oh, i you see them. there you go so you can reach out to her yeah some... guys ask for it yes. <laughs> give me this to this so we are burning this outfit <laughs> but yes, yes uh like you know before i i, I mentioned that we're yeah. going to do a 360 interview and what i mean by that is that we know who charlie dior is mm. the fashion critique yes. always notorious for saying oh we're burning or we are buying yeah. we love how you critique all these you know, you. you know you know you know our fashion choices yes but then what we don't know is who is charlie dior wow. so i want us to start like really from the beginning okay till now until wow. 2023 interesting yeah yes. so charlie dior yes that is definitely not your real name no that's not my real name my actual real name is charles tamaklo but like charles tamaklo brings back a lot of trauma for me oh. because growing up it wasn't easy like i was very i was teased when i was growing up yeah. um i grew up here i'm uh, i grew up at fadama so you can imagine as a Fadama boy, he yes. was very feminine yeah. um, growing up. So the name Charles Tamako, and I, and I used to talk a lot in school. So my name was always in the names of talkative. Yeah. I was always in trouble. So every time I hear Charles Tamako, my heart started beating. Ooh, I right? understand. Yeah. Yeah. So when um, you know, I became like older, I was like, okay, let me give myself a name, a name that brings back, a, a name that brings me joy. Yeah. And one of my favorite fashion designers, of course I love fashion. Yeah. So one of my favorite fashion designers is Dior, Dior. Christian Dior. So yeah. I remember like I emailed him, I found an email, a random email mm -hmm. online. And I was like, can I borrow your name? I really like the name, I like your yeah. fashion, I like your creativity. And um, I was like, okay, Charlie Dior, like, cause Charles, Charlie, and then added the Dior. the Dior to it, and it became Charlie Dior. And I, I really style. love it. It's like Thank very you. unique. Yes, and not I'm, a the, lot of I'm the only Dior you know. You don't know the other guy. No, we don't. You know don't know him. Dior. No, but you know Charlie Dior in person. Yes, so I'm the only Dior you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So yes. yes, you know, growing up in yes. Fadama, where did you go to school? I went to school at Saint Monica's Preparatory, mm -hmm. and then I did one term at Datu's Complex. Okay. At Tema. Okay. So I just did one term, and okay. then um, I traveled to the states okay. about. 16 years ago oh. and since then I've been coming back and forth to Ghana back and forth okay so when when you moved to the state was it like a family move it was a family move okay. yeah, I remember I was in school and my dad was like yeah go to the embassy interview the process was very fast it, I remember okay. it all oh. happened like three weeks to four weeks like yeah. I, I remember it was very quick 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 and by the time I realized you were yeah, and yeah, I didn't pack. We didn't pack any bags. Mm -hmm. We left everything because my I have two sisters, two other sisters, and okay. my mom. Okay. So my dad came for all of us at once. We we didn't pack anything. We we were living in Father Minor Chamber and Hall. We left everything. I remember I was wearing my you know back to fashion. <laughs> I had on my body condom shirts. Okay. okay. It was a tight shirt with yeah. the Togo jeans and then my camera bag. Yeah. 
that's it. No, I left everything. You just mentioned that you have two sisters, yes. and I must imagine that some of your femininity comes yes. from that. Because growing up, are they older sisters or younger They're, sisters? I'm in the middle, so my okay. Uh, my my femininity didn't come from. I feel like it, it's that's who I am since I was a I was a kid because okay. I didn't okay. really hang out with my sisters. Oh, okay. My sister was in boarding school, mm -hmm. and my mom and just. That, that I can't. I don't know where it came from, but I remember as a kid, I've always been, been very soft, very, you know. That's how I express myself. Yeah. Would I change it? No, I like it. I love the way I express myself. I think it's part of who I am, mm -hmm. and it makes me different. It makes me more interesting. So I embrace it actually. Yeah. Now let's let's go back to. I know Charles <laughs> Tamar Club <Yeah. laughs> brings you a lot of trauma. Yes. But yeah. we're doing a three sixty interview, yes. so we need to go back. No, it's fine. Um, growing up, mm -hmm. as you started to embrace mm -hmm. this side of you yes what was the reaction from your parents um, did they accept it did they say okay this is what we are dealing with yeah my mom i remember my mom was very protective of me like when people were teasing me my my mom actually slapped a boy once in our neighborhood for calling me you know the term that they used to call like the feminine guy yeah yes. or, or is it Oba, Bisya, Oba, Kujo, or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. yeah my mom got really angry with like that was the first time i saw how protective she was of me she, we walked over to the house and she was like Man, friend, man, I like and then that. They gave that boy. We are still. I'm still friends with that boy on Facebook. Believe it or not, and we we talk about it and we laugh about yeah. it. But yeah, I was, I was like, wow, okay. She's very protective of me. So they they were very protective of me mm -hmm. in that way. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what was it? A protection from you know just from the, the public, society, or yes. from society, or just trying to make sure that um, people were not people are very cool to things that they don't understand mm -hmm. or th things that like are different yeah right yeah we do it all the time mm -hmm. and so she was being she was protecting me from that okay. you know and all of okay. that but um since then i i, I can defend myself i'm yeah, very yeah course. that also yeah <laughs> that also made me pull up this wall to protect myself because mm -hmm. before you tease me my mouth is shut. Very, very sharp. I'll protect myself. I'll say something right back to you. Yeah. You know, so... Don't be cute, sir. Yeah, don't be cute. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've moved from Ghana. You yes. were in the US. You yes. landed yes. at a, an environment where you can literally be anybody. Yes. Oh, my God. What was the transition? It was, How was it like? It was a cultural shock. It was like... like the, It was like the world opened up. And I'm yeah. like, wow. What a country. Like... Don't get me wrong, we still have some people who are very yes. ignorant yes. and very, yes. who are bullies. But yes. most part, I remember going to school, 10th grade there, and everybody's like, like straight up, straight up, they like, they like the way I presented myself. Mm -hmm. uh, making friends was, yeah. was very, very easy. I was actually voted prom prince. No so way. So I was, I became that popular that oh. fast, became prom prince. Um, I introduced them to like Ghana culture, Ghana music, Amazing. Ghana movies. Yeah. Um, we did a stage play. I taught them like because I'm a dancer as well. I'm Ooh. very very good at dancing. Yeah, you should see. So I taught them like Bangalore <laughs> and all that. And doing all of that also made me win an MVP scholarship. No way. So I won the Yankee Stadium MVP scholarship. <laughs> For being like the most vulnerable student because I was very out there, I was oh. very expressive, and I joined. And all, Americans love that. Yes, I would. I joined all the clubs. I was very nice to everybody. So the whole entire school voted for me to to you know. Yeah, for so, the scholarship. So it, isn't it so interesting how here I was very closed, closed, and then the very thing that I was, I didn't want people to see. When I went to US, you didn't have I, to force it. I opened it up to everybody to see and yeah. that gave me that scholarship yeah very very interesting very interesting yes. and yes we need to do better we yeah. need to yeah. do better yeah, be but yes be yeah yourself. so you get the scholarship yes it was it for uni for, for university yes okay it was one thing I what did you study i i studied broadcasting and mass communication yes because i always wanted to be on tv I, didn't, I don't know i didn't know why but growing up in ghana i was like oh my gosh tv who's that i want to be i want to be on tv i didn't yeah. care what i was doing yeah i just wanted to be on tv so um when i went to the states um when i went to college i studied broadcasting and mass communication so okay. i got my degree my first degree in radio production mm -hmm. and then my second degree was in television. guys i told you 360 <laughs> he's telling us things who would have taught yes this yes, guy has yes, two degrees yes um yeah i have degrees i have certificates i have a scrum master certification for it i mean there's a whole lot that wow. i do um so in school so while studying broadcasting and mass communication yeah 
I since I love fashion, I took a course in fashion. Ooh, yes, so I took a course in um, theater and costumes. And um, the last project that we had to do was come up with a magazine. So I came up with the Tamaklo magazine. We spoke oh. about fashion. And that's... Why? Why Tamaklo? For someone who yes. was running away Tam from that. Tamaklo, because if you think about it, the Italians use their names. The, the Miu Miu and the Givenchy. And yeah. The, yeah. I'm like, okay, Tamaklo. Okay. Let me fit in right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I, I took a course in that and the, the passion just grew from there. Um, so yeah, so yeah, broadcast and communication was what I studied. And I know mm -hmm. uh, you've had an amazing journey yes. in the media Thank you. Yes. Um, already, mm -hmm. but when you think about it, if you had stayed back in Ghana, mm -hmm. would you have had these many opportunities that you've had outside of, the, outside of this country in the US? The opportunities, no, but I felt like as I'm a very passionate person, I'm very hardworking. I would have created those opportunities Yourself. for myself anyways. Because would, you, would you have seen yourself on TV? Like yes, being a journalist? Like, yes. Do you think yes. um, media gurus would have, or media owners, let me put it that way, media owners would have agreed? It would have been a challenge you, because yeah. they're, most of them that I've, I've spoken to, they're not open. Because yeah. I even know of someone personally who is very, very talented, a little feminine, so a lot of people are scared to put them on camera. On camera. But I felt like I would have pushed for it. Like, even what I do now, I created my own opportunity with my fashion critique show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I saw a space um, in Ghana. I'm like, okay, nobody's doing this. Let me. So let me create it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it would have been very, very hard, but knowing, like, the type of person that I am, I would have created something in the spaces. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of talented people in Ghana doing amazing, amazing. work, yeah. amazing work. Mm -hmm. You know, like makeup artists, um, 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 designers. And, Photographers. And ph photography, they're doing amazing work. So big shout out to them. We need the push. We need people to invest and push and push and push. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I love Amel TV because, like, I see what he's doing. He, you know, he went first. He's a pioneer when it comes to blogging and journalism, mm -hmm. and he has given you guys an opportunity. Of course. So shout Which out to him. Which we are very grateful for. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yes, um, media, mm -hmm. journalism. You've yes. done the media. Yes. So when did this whole fashion critique? When when did when you did start? start? Okay. So the whole fashion critique thing. I mean, I've always had a mouth, and I've always had an opi <laughs> opinion. And I feel like we all do. We like, all do, everyone. Like, if I ask you right now, what do you think of my outfit? You have something to say. Yeah. Right? So the, the difference is, I'm saying mine in front of the camera. That's it. Everybody does. And it's, it, it's really frustrating when people go on your page, the MAL TV page, or they come on my page, and then they're like, oh, what is he wearing? And then he, what is he wearing, and why does he critique people? You just yeah. did exactly what I do. I do. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when, when, you, when you come on my page and be like, hey, should you watch Shay? Look at what he's wearing. Who does he think he is? He is yeah. Critiquing people. Mr. Sir, you just did exactly what I do. <laughs> what I, you know. So, I mean, I have an opinion. And, yeah. And I have something to say. Basically, it's what, what is this? Mm -hmm. So, three years ago, during the VGMAs, mm -hmm. I was watching just like everybody else, else was watching at home. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in bed. I was eating some meat pie and some malt honey. And I was in bed. I was like... What are these people wearing? wearing. Huh? I don't, I don't like it like this. Oh, no, no, no. And I was like, just say it in front of the camera. So I put out my phone and I recorded it. I recorded like, so it's there, the very first one. It was very shaky. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't like this outfit. I don't like that outfit. And I posted it. Posted it, forgot about it. I didn't repost it. So one of my friends, big shout out to him, Saucy Bossy. And I, and I always give him a shout out because he saw something. So he... He saw it randomly on YouTube, laughed like he was cracking up. And he's like, wait, why does this thing only have 10 views? What's going on? Oh, yeah. And I said, I just posted it. I didn't um, share, it or, share anything. it or anything. He was like, are you crazy? Share this. This is like gold. Yeah. So I shared it and boom, I woke up in the morning. I was like, comments, every, everywhere. comments everywhere. People are loving it. People are cursing me out. Like... <laughs> Like, what is going on? And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I have something. Yeah. And since then, I've been doing it, I've been doing it. And mm -hmm. The feedbacks has been, like, awesome. I receive all the good. I receive all the bad. It's yeah. all good. As long as I have you talking about it. That's all you I'm, need. I'm, I'm, that's all I need. For, For someone me. who is a fashion critic. Yes. Fashion critics, you have to come up. I don't know why people think it's supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. Like, before you critique, uh, critique someone, mm -hmm. you have to be, like, the best at it. No, you do not. You do not. The worst, the worst, the worst dresses are the stylists, are the fashion designers because they don't even have time for themselves. Yeah. They are always focused on others, others yeah. right? Um, 
And I'm not coming on here to say I'm the total expert of everything. Like, I want Ghanaians to get this and get it Guys, straight listen. right now. Okay. I'm not saying I'm the best dresser. Okay. And I've never claimed that anywhere. Okay. I've ne I've, I'm never saying I know it all. Mm -hmm. What I'm, I'm simply doing is sharing my opinion. Okay. Does not make sense to everybody. So, <laughs> <laughs> so don't come on my page trying to... I'm not perfect. Yeah. You know, but this is how I'm showing up, right? Okay. So you tell me whether or not you're going to burn it. And if you're going to burn it, fine. We can have that conversation. Yeah. Why do you want to burn it? Yeah. Tell me why you want to burn it and why you want to buy it. Yeah. So what I'm simply doing is sharing my opinion. Hey, guys, this is Nane Kriya Ado wearing a red dress. I think um, if she should have paired it with the black shoes, it would have been better. I'm just... Share my opinion. Yeah. And because of that, we'll be burning it. We're not, we, we're not talking about people's character. Okay. We're not talking about people sleeping with this person. All we are doing is, we're talking about clothes. clothes. Okay. That's it. Okay. It's not, don't take it personal. While you are watching it, grab yourself wine and some snacks. Chill and out. enjoy the show. Because you know why? I've met half of these celebs that I talk about. My next question <laughs> comes to that. Because yeah. for someone yeah. who is always... Critiquing them yes, at yes. every event they go, whatever they are yes. wearing, you're critiquing them. Yes. What are some of the the reactions you've gotten from these celebs when you meet the them? The reactions are amazing. I'm telling you, like it, it even shocks me when I meet them and how graceful they are. And how... I saw the video with Nana Mama Brown, and she was she, amazing. She, she was the one that walked up. Like we saw each other across the room, and she we walked up to each other, and it was love. So I think the fans that are watching take it more. Personal. personal the fans take it more personal than the, the main celebs yeah. i've met them all and your favorite celebrities hit me up okay secret secret i'm, I'm dropping the secret right here on <laughs> they're in his dms <laughs> they are in my dms they want so do to, they send you photos to they want critique? me to talk about them they want me to like oh did you didn't you see my outfit? like i've had celeb like hey so you didn't talk about my vgma's look you didn't see my outfit like they want they, they want me to talk about them and i've had celebs who actually want to pay me Okay, to trash them because the more you trash them, then because most of my videos that go viral are the ones that, that I, I burn, yes, and trash because yes. I, talk, I talk about how fabulous these celebrities be looking, but the bloggers don't pick those ones, nope, it's they the always trashing. pick the, the, the bad ones yeah. when I'm going in on them. And some of the celebrities actually have reached out to me to pay me, but I haven't taken any money yet. You know why? Why? Because I also want to be true to myself. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. You know what but I mean? then when you start taking money, if then I start it's like taking money, they will know. You know, they will know that, wait, what? This outfit is bad. And Charlie is saying that my credibility is going to be like, oh, he doesn't even know what I'm, what I'm saying. This is a man <laughs> who is taking his credibility very serious. Very serious, very which serious. is good. Yeah, now, <laughs> so far, three years down the line, mm -hmm. I mean, some of these celebrities you've known for ages, even mm -hmm. before you started yes, with this. Yes. Who has been. Which of them, not who, mm -hmm. but like how many of them, which one of them has mm -hmm. been the most well-dressed mm -hmm. in your opinion? Mm -hmm. I mean, there are times that they, they may falter, they may yes. not come correct. Yes. Yes. But who, who, who are those people that have like kept uh, it going back yes. to back to back for I you? I think we can all agree in Ghana that the creme de la creme of fashion, she understands style, she takes her time, she puts in effort and it shows. Nana Ikuya Ado. Okay. She slays. Yeah. She slays. She takes it very seriously. Seriously. And let me tell you why I'm saying she takes it very seriously. Because she entered into my DMs. Because I burned her VGMs look. Remember when she had on the red yes. and the gold? Gold, yes. I, I didn't like that look. I didn't like that look. And she came in my DMs like... She gave it to me. But, and we were cool before and she unfollowed me on Instagram. No way. Nani Kado, if you're watching me, I still love you, okay? Please follow me back on Instagram. And I've been campaigning. Like, every talk show that I go to, I'm campaigning for Nani Kado to follow, follow me. Follow you back. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she's amazing. She's the creme de la creme. She, she understands fashion. She understands style. And she has set the bar so high for so herself. High. Yeah. Not for anybody else, yeah. for herself. Yeah. I think she's good. Bella Mundi is amazing. Like, Bella always comes Be through. Bella always comes through. She's very elegant. Yeah. And um, she usually gets styled by Kel Vincent. Yes. Who is like, I mean, come on. He's really, really good. He's mm -hmm. amazing. So yeah, Bella Mundi, Nane Kriya Adolfo. With the guys, I love Ochame Kwame. Ochame Kwame comes through with the colors, with the confidence, with the prints. You know, so he's, you know, Ochami yeah. is really, really good. Yeah. Um, Nana Mac Brown, 
for me is like on and off. On and so, off. There, so are there, are times, there are times that he like she slays. I'm like, whoa, okay. There are times there are times I'm like, okay. okay. But that's okay. Fine. Like she's experimenting. Yeah. And, and fashion is supposed to be fun, right? Okay. So I like the fact that she experimenting. And she's always having fun in everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. So which I which I like. Mm -hmm. So yeah. There are some amazing people doing that. Personally, I like Sarkodie in suits. Like there's something about Sarkodie in a suit for me. And even if he's rapping hardcore on stage yeah. and he has the suit on rap, there's something grown and, and sexy about that for me. When he yeah. goes into the hip-hop, I'm like, leave, leave that for the kids. I mean, Ghanaian ladies, like those times are, you know, over. You are telling a different story now. So, and the last time I, I, I spoke about Sarkozy, I was all over Twitter. You know, the <laughs> Sark Nation, the Sark Nation kept... Listen, they came after me. They went to research like my old pictures, put it up. It was crazy. Yeah, Sack Nation, they go hard. Yeah, yeah, they really did. Yeah. But they made my numbers also go up. So it's, it's all, all about the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all up. Who, yeah. which one of them needs to go to the classroom, to the fashion classroom, the and fashion just classroom. and, and go back can, to like primary I think we can one? All agree, and I've I've stopped talking about this man for a while now because I don't want him to feel like I'm bullying him. Okay. But Kwame Eugene needs to get it together with. Um, you know, and I haven't seen him in the in the scene for a while now. But Sarko, remember that VGMA's look when he came? With the with the half the year before his suit reminded me of a couch. I mean it was like uh, I just want to hold him and shake him. Like <laughs> <laughs> But believe it or not, if I show you my phone right now, I have every song of Kwame Uji. I'm a huge fan. I've met him. Uh. We both grew up in Fadama. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I'm a huge fan of Kwame Uji. I think that's why I get so passionate when I'm talking about him. him. Because I'm like, come on, man. Let's do this. The outfit needs to match Let's the talent. Let's do this. The, it, maybe right now that he has been signed to Empire, maybe he'll maybe get... the budget is going to go up a little bit. Because it's Did you about... think it was a bad budget? It's some about... people... Some people it, just don't have it, it honestly. I said that I because said... <laughs> they are on the same label. He's on the same label with Kitty. Yes. Kitty comes correct. Yes. So I said that once. I said he, maybe he's missing the genesis quad. The, there's something that you cannot explain, <laughs> you know, that he's missing. He's but missing you know, it. listen, he's a, also a church boy. Yeah. So you know how that, you know, how yeah. that goes. But for the ladies, for, for, for the ladies, who, the, which one of them needs to go back to the classroom? To the classroom. Um, Asantewa, TikToker Asantewa. <laughs> uh, why are the camera people laughing? You see, they, you see, your people are shady. Your people are shady just like my editor. No, we all have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> just like you said. And we all watch. And um, we are seeing what they're wearing. Yeah, so. like, you, you were star. Like, they think they are not stars. If you are one of the most followed people on TikTok in Ghana, come on, that means people are watching Watching you. you. Get it together. But what are some of the enemies you've made so far? Who are some of the enemies? Like, like hardcore enemies. People who want you dead. And I, for I, oh, not you. dead. Listen. No more boy. They, I see them all out. They all show love. They are, you know, the in internet gangsters. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are internet gangsters. They show me. No, I get crazy love okay. like when I go out. Okay. But with the celebs, the people that have blocked me are probably the ones that can't couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. So going back to Nane Equiado, going back to Efia Shua, and I, if Efia Shua, I've nigga. never spoken about her, never ever. No. So I don't even know why she why blocked she block me. Him? I think she blocked me because I was friendly with Tornado. So like yeah. that whole thing, she yeah. blocked me. But um, not many enemies, surprisingly. Hmm. Not many people. Not, uh, no. That's good. And I don't follow many of them. Yeah. So if you're blocking, I don't even follow you. If you're, so why are you blocking, blocking. me? Blocking. Um, Delay blocked me once, but she has unblocked me. Okay, that's so that's news. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Hi, Delay. <laughs> Invite me on your show. Let's, let's talk. But yeah, so not many crazy enemies. Okay. Not many crazy enemies. But, you know, I'm watching Ameyao TV. Ameyao, I'm going to feature you very, very Please soon. do. I'll he needs to up his game. I'm going to be featuring We are saying him. it here. <laughs> no, but he's decent. It's just his shoe game. Remember he went viral with those? a long time ago with the shoes. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about Ameyao very, very Please soon. Please do. So we'll feature I can't wait well. to watch that episode. Yes. I, should, I should be doing like a, a blogger edition. And talk about all the bloggers. Bloggers. Sammy K. Um, that would be Kong fun. Kong yes, that would Kong be Kong fun. Kong. Give it to them. I'll give it to them. Yes. Give it to I'll, them. Yes. Like, don't go soft. I won't. I won't. I'll do a blogger edition. So yeah. watch out for the Fashion Critique Show Bloggers Edition. Can't wait. <laughs> what is the one thing you are tired of Ghanaians saying to you or about you? Um, one thing I get a lot, even if you go to Google, 
and you type in Charlie Dior, the, the first thing that comes is gender. That's all I got to say. I'm not answering that question. It's so anno it, It's like, they can't read. So I, I can't help you. You come on my page. My pronouns are on my page. He, him. So it's like, I, I, how many times am I, I going to answer that question? No, they're just confused. The so they should stay confused. They makeup. Should, they should stay confused. Earrings. They've never seen, they've never seen a man in, um, who wants to look nice and wear makeup before. Okay. And even makeup history, if, if they know their history started with the guys, started with men in the Egyptian days. The, the, the Egyptians used to wear makeup to show their wealth, their pride. Yeah. So learn your history, okay? <laughs> learn your history. I'm not answering that question. You are confused. Good. You should be confused. You should. My fans, the people that love me are not confused. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I want people who are smart to follow me. So okay. you are confused and you don't know what gender I am when my pronouns are on my page and you're still confused. Stay confused. Papi Kojo left a comment on a video we posted. He wrote yes. LGTV Plus. Yes. How much does it cost at Malcolm? Yes. When you read that, like, I want us to, like, this is very serious for yeah. me. Yeah. And it's very serious for me because comments like that are very dangerous and it threatens my life and people who are like me. Yeah. So when you read that comment. Of course, LGBTQ. Yes. What, what did you think? That's he what came into say. my mind. Yes. He so, was being homophobic. He was being homophobic. He was being shady. And for somebody like Papi Kojo, who has a lot of followings in the LGBT community, yeah. that's very, very dangerous. That's very irresponsible of him. And I didn't think it was funny. Yeah. You know, because Papi Kojo, if you want to be realistic, and if you want... And you... Okay. Let me just leave it. Because, because we are all in the entertainment industry, and we all hear things. So don't let me come on here and say some things as well. Okay? Like I said, keep it cute. Keep it cute or, or keep it mute, okay? <laughs> when is your Listen. new music? When is new music coming? Like, when There's you know, new music out. Listen where, to Frost. Exactly. That's a problem. Spend, spend less time commenting under my videos and more time promoting your song. But you know he's just he's kidding, right? Yeah, but it's not funny. Jokes are supposed to make people laugh. When I read that, it wasn't funny to me. You are threatening my life and I take it very, very serious. Okay. Keep it cute. Don't be cute, sir. <laughs> <laughs> In your yeah. address to Papi Kojo, you yeah. said, you know, the LGBTQ, you said your kind of people. But you say you're well, he. Everybody's my kind of people. Everybody... You say you're he, him. So how no, my are thing you... Is this. My thing is this. Everybody's my kind of people. Okay. And I know my followers and I have colorful followers, right? So a lot of people look up to me. Listen, this is very, very serious. I get people who hit me up and say, help me. Like, help me, I'm in danger. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the people that are targeted in the LGBTQ community, in Ghana especially, are not being reported to the police. Yeah. Right? We, we've seen a lot of videos of people being attacked and all of that. We can't, they can't go to the police and report That's it. That's because... That's it's, because it's, it's not really accepted. Who called police station in Ghana? It's a you problem. Put, yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. So leaving comments like that under pictures while people are liking the comments and people, a lot of people are laughing under the comments. Like, what are you doing? You are not helping. I'm sure after watching this video. He, <laughs> but I still love gonna... him though. Papi Koji, if you are watching, <laughs> call me, let's, do, let's go for lunch or something. <laughs> He's going to bake you pizza. <laughs> yeah. But yes, uh, what's 2023 looking like for you? Oh my gosh, 2023 is going to be amazing. So right after here, I'm going to have a, um, a meeting with my editor. So my editor who edits my fashion critique show oh. is actually here. He lives in Ghana. Okay. So I record the show. I send it to him. He records and uploads it. Okay. I'm going to have a meeting with him to see how we can even take the fashion critique show to it, a new level. Okay. Um, so it's looking really, really good. I'm excited for 2023. More content coming. Mm -hmm. Um... I want to even get in the studio. What are your last words to our viewers? Oh my gosh, it's been fun. I'm TV. Thank you so much for having me. Viewers, like I said before, my fashion critique show is supposed to be a fun, fun show. Do not take it at heart. The people that you are defending, they're in his DMs. They're my DMs. They are being very, very friendly to me. They love me. I love them. And it's all fun. And in 2023, I'll try as much as possible not to be too personal when I'm talking about the, the fashion critique. Continue to support me. Continue to love me. Follow me on all my social media platforms at Charlie underscore Dior. The Charlie is with I-E, not Y. Yes, I-E. Charlie underscore Dior. I'm... I'm very, very easy to find. Go on a TV page, look for my videos or pictures and follow me. 
good. Thank you so much <laughs> thank for coming. Thank you for having me. This it's was me. a beautiful interview. Thank Congrats you. Congrats on everything. You. Yes, thank you. Thank you're you. amazing. Thank you.